T-burn is chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. So the majority of us in the core are specialists in those four special fields. Particularly what we're doing out here today is decon or decontamination. So basically what happens if a unit goes up against one of those elements of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear warfare, our primary goal, I should say, is to help those units decontaminate themselves so they can get themselves back into the fight. Basically what we want to do is enable lethality amongst our brethren on the front lines so they can go ahead and continue on with their mission. So it's us as force soldiers, that's our primary function in the world today. So today the goal was to test the troops' ability to run an operational decontamination seaburn exercise. So right over here we had some tanks pull through for our exercise. We have our blivet and our generator set up. Our decon team would pull the vehicles up and they would begin wash down. The driver and all the TCs and crew would exit the vehicle and they would move over to our troop decon lane. At that lane, uh, they would be getting out of their JS list in a clean and safe way, transferring to a new set of JS lists. And then from that point, the driver goes back to the vehicle, he decons the inside of the vehicle with a mitt that we provide and then he gets back in the vehicle, he meets up with his crew, everybody's able to safely get back in that vehicle and roll out to continue the mission. Everybody out here today has been trained in mop gear exchange, operational decontamination, all the different seaburn exercises. This gear, it takes acclimatization, you know, this, this gear's hot. Soldiers aren't used to operating in, in this kind of heat with this extra gear on. Um, and we wanna keep soldiers safe. The best way to do that is to put them in the gear more often have them train, have them acclimatize. The more they put on this gear, the more they get on their mass, the more they run these exercises, the more comfortable they're gonna be doing it, the less panic you're gonna see on the battlefield, and the better we're gonna do overall as a troop at bringing our soldiers home safe. Mustang Focus has just been a tremendous opportunity for us to get out into the woods to train uh, at our basic soldier through platoon level tasks uh, and make sure that we're ready for any eventuality should it come, be a chemical attack, uh, you know, or on a battlefield anywhere in the world. Uh, and so events like this are critical to making sure that our soldiers are ready to use this modern equipment that we've just received from the Army uh, and get it into operation and also provide feedback to the Army on what we learn actually out in the field using this equipment uh, in a, an environment such as this.